Guys, it's the real deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're gonna be looking at Duchess. She is one of the best champions in Rage I Legend. She is a hardcore carry. There's almost no piece of content that she can't be used in. Um, she can be built in a whole bunch of different ways, and she can literally be used in any sort of team comp. Any team, you just throw her in, and she is gonna get work done for you. Um, saying that. I do actually have two videos that I made about Duchess. So the first one is I built a strategy on how to get Duchess. So I'm just going to ping that right here. Make sure you guys check it out because it actually did pay off in the end. And then I'm also going to share the video where I pulled Duchess. So again, that's just going to be right here. And it was quite funny because it's going to be a really painful video. I mean, we were very close to not getting Duchess, but we did get her in the end and it was 100% worth the sacrifice. So we're gonna look at the build, the skills, and the masteries. Um, so where is she? She is somewhere, she's somewhere, somewhere here. There she is. Okay, so we've got her in six pieces stone skin. I would say it's probably better to put her in bolster. Uh, the only problem with that, though, is it's really difficult when you're free to play to get good bolster gear. Um, I think I've got six good pieces. I don't, I don't know, not even that, but not good enough to make a really strong champion. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and I, I think the substats on here are not good enough. I would be so slow. It would just not be worth it. Yeah. I don't have I don't have enough to make one good piece of bolster. So there's no point. So yeah, so stone skin is definitely the best option. This will carry you in arena as well as PvE content. There's definitely other ways you could go as well. So let's just have a quick look. Um and just go through all the different gear sets that I feel that she could definitely be used in. I mean speed is definitely a good offset to use. Resistance, I feel, has really fallen out of the meta. I don't think people really use resistance anymore on Duchess. I mean, you could use it as an off piece, but you wouldn't put her in six pieces of resistance anymore. Uh, regen, good for arena, but you're going to need a lot of stats. So it kind of sucks in that respect, but it's still going to be really, really good for PvE content. And if you only play PvE, then fair enough. That is definitely going to carry a few right there. Immunity is another great set. Um, I think a lot of people will be caught off guard if your Duchess was in immunity. Um, because you know, people still use Astrolith, uh, bombs are still present in the meta. Um, it's just a good way to just make sure that you don't just get blown up. So immunity is still a really good gear set. Um, Stalwart for like clan boss as well is a good option. Immortal is still a good off piece. Um, Swift Parry, still, some people still use this. Again, it's quite hard to get the stats on her, but if you can do it, it's still really, really good and it can really frustrate people. They think they're just about to wipe your team, but then Duchess just revives the whole team and you make a comeback and get the W. Uh, Untouchable, just the better version of Immunity, still a really, really good gear set. I don't feel like I'd use Guardian on her. I, you could potentially use Protection, but again, I just feel like it's not a good set. Just for me, it's all about Stone Skin, Bolster, Defiant is really good on her as well. Reduce AoE damage. But yeah, so yeah, we've, there's so, like, you know, when you've got a champion this strong, you can just build them so many different ways. But I still feel like Stone Skin is the best free to play version to go for. So um, we'll go through every single piece of gear. We're looking for substats in speed and resistance first, then HP percentage and defense percentage. We've got HP on the gloves, HP on the chest, uh, speed on the boots. Ideally, these would be like defense boots or HP boots, but I just don't have the gear quite to be fast enough because she does need to be reasonably fast. And if she's not that fast, she's going to be pretty useless. 
uh, ring. We've got defense, defense on the amulet. And this is nice. So uh, because this is a stone skin amulet, it meant that I could um, get use a better chess piece, that like an off-piece chess piece. So that came really in clutch. And then we've got um, HP on the banner. So total stats, we are rocking 103k HP, 4k defense, 263 speed, and then 478 resistance. So there's a few different ways you could go this. Obviously, you always want the HP to be as high as possible, the defense to be as high as possible. Uh, speed, you want to be at least 260, and you can push that to like 300. I've even come across like a 320 speed Duchess which was pretty baller. So that is also a good way to go. And then resistance. Um, if you are going to go for like high resistance, you want to be at least a minimum of 800. Um, one of the things that I'm lacking on my account is that let's have a look at the Ascension. So the Ascensions haven't been the best. I, I've not done the um, amulet and stuff yet. Um, but also my faction guardians is lacking as well. So I don't, I don't think I have enough to get the resistance or the speed jet as well. So that would significantly bump up and empower my Duchess. Um, so yeah, let's look at um, her skills. So she has an aura placing 19% speed in all battles. That is a nice aura. And of course, being able to use in every single piece of the game is just the best. So her passive um, decreases the damage from all allies. Sorry, decreases the damage taken by all allies from AOE attacks by 25% and then 15% from bosses. This is huge. The damage mitigation is massive. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. And when we when we go into the arena, I'm going to show you like three or four different team comps that you can use for Duchess. Um, but yeah, so this pairs up really nicely with like Pytheon, Usaga, anyone that reduces damage or someone in a Guardian set as well. Um, you just uh, mitigate so much damage. Really, really nice. Uh, her, 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 her A3 Spectral Rebirth is on a four-turn cooldown, and it is one of the best uh, AoE revives in the game. Revives all allies with 70% HP. Um, that is massive. Places a Veil buff on all allies except this champion for one turn. So how this mechanic works is that, and this is like how our AT works as well, is that, Everyone's going to have Veil on them so they cannot be targeted. And Duchess is just going to soak in all those hits. Uh, then places a 15% continuous heal buff on all allies for two turns. Just amazing. It's just going to heal everyone back up as well. Her A2, Shroud of Souls, uh, places a block debuff and a 50% increase attack buff on all allies for two turns. Nice. So it's going to help us do more damage for our attack based champions. And block debuffs is still one of the best buffs in the game. It stops bombs, it stops poison, it stops HP burn, block defense. Uh, sorry, drop defense, drop attack. It just does so much. So strong. Such a great ability. But then she's also got the place perfect veil buff on all allies except this champion for two turns. So again, it's just going to reduce AoE damage to the team from that perfect veil. And She's going to be the only champion that enemy can target. Of course, if they're doing AOE damage, um, the, our teammates can still die. Um, but, you know, if they've blown their AOE damage and then they're using single targets, she is going to eat all of that damage. Her A1, Abyssal in Invocation. Wow, <laughs> what, what an ability. Uh, attacks one enemy two times, then places a shield buff equal 10% of this champion's max HP for two turns on this champion and the ally with the lowest HP. So this is an insane ability. Um, she puts out this big fat shield and she's going to be doing it all day long. We're also going to use masteries to pump up this shield as well. And yeah, it just keeps her alive. And if she takes a big hit, she will counter attack and it just helps her stay alive so she can just uh, do the A3 and revive the squad. So for blessings, I've taken emergency heal. This ability is just so, it just pairs up so nicely with her A1. Um, I would definitely prefer to have polymorph, but we're only going to take polymorph when we get to six stars. Otherwise, emergency heal is another great option. Uh, and as you can see, unfortunately, because 
we're only at two stars. We're missing a lot of benefits, like we're missing some HP, some defense, some resistance, and some speed. So when you know when I get her a bit more awakened, she is going to be way, way, way stronger. And the other version, so you could go for Polymorph. The other thing that's really popular is Life Harvest. Um, I personally still think Polymorph is better. If you can sheep someone, you know, it just gives her some CC that she normally doesn't have in her kit. Uh, but Life Harvest is good. So, you know, Revive Mal is still really strong in the arena. And also Wukong for Live Arena. It's just going to destroy his HP um, when he comes revived. So when he sort of gets revived. And if he doesn't come back with a lot of HP, say your Nuka doesn't go next, but your you know, a support champion does, then they could potentially kill Wukong. And it just means that you've got a good chance of winning that fight. So yeah, Life Harvest is also still a really solid option. So Masteries, this is a pure PvP uh, build. But it's still good for uh, PvE as well. We're taking HP. We're going to bump up those shields. Um, rapid response, because she does throw out a lot of buffs. So when they expire... We can boost our turn meter. Laura Steel to bump up those stats. Lasting Gifts, just amazing because she throws out a lot of buffs and just means that they can hopefully last a little bit longer. Defense, we're taking Resistance. Improved Parry, one of my favorite masteries in the game. Uh, decreased Critical Hits by 8%. So good for Arena. Uh, rejuvenation, again, this is going to increase the shields on us taking those counter attacks and also cycle revenge so take a big hit it's going to boost our turn meter and again that's just going to help us cycle through our abilities get back to that revive and also that a2 and then of course you have to take unshakable that extra 50 uh, resistance so we've looked at the gear and masteries let's take her into the arena and let's uh let's put her to work Guys, this is going to be an amazing showcase of damage and mitigation with Pytheon and Duchess against double Taris. So yeah, hoping this is going to be an amazing showcase and you see like how much damage they can just soak up. And that's the thing as well, like obviously Taris, one of the hardest hitting champions in the game. He's the absolute king right now. So yeah, we've got a decent amount of damage mitigation. Wow, didn't even kill Harima. Didn't proc um, Liores's unkillable. And uh, yeah, so Pytheon is actually in a PvE build. So um, I built him for Amos specifically. He's in a Guardian set. He has really unusual masteries. But nice, like we are tanking this easily so yeah duchess this is this is a great showcase the yeah, duchess reviving throwing out the hills across the team we are gonna get marichka um reviving everyone which is gonna be very very annoying yeah just not doing any damage to us i think one of these terraces were like in powered as well So I think I want to try and take out Marichka first and then take out Pythion. Uh, Pythion? Take out uh, uh, Taris. Oh, damn. Did not hit quite hard enough. Yeah, I feel like this might be a little... Let's speed it up. Yeah, it is quite, quite slow. Okay, I'm just going to whack it on auto. Okay, actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to take out Taris. After Taris does his big AoE hit, then I'll take him out. Okay, so taking out Arbiter first, because we don't want her to revive Marichka. Ah, oh, for frick's sakes. That's what I hate the most about Marichka, is that if there's another reviver on the team, it's just going to be this all day long. So yeah, definitely want to take out Arb first. 
and then take out my rich card. Nice. No revive. Ah. Oh. All right. Back onto Arbiter. And then hopefully that's all she wrote. And yeah, just need to get an actual turn. Come on. If that Maricha comes back, I'm no. Oh, just so annoying. Okay, nice. Just hoping we just need an AoE attack in the bank. Come on, Leores. A2, A3, is it up? All right, A3. Yes. Oh my God. She just keeps going. I mean, Marichka is one of my most wanted champions. She is just so annoying. And this is like the perfect showcase for her. So that's Arb down. That's Taris down. And now we just need to take out last one. And we're still not quite there. But yeah, here we go. That's it. Oh. And Terrace passive as well, where he decreases attack and reduces the enemy's attack as well. It's just so annoying. See you later, buddy. There we go, guys. That's what we're waiting for. But yeah, just... Yeah, the damage mitigation between these two it is just on another level. So I'm going to bring in my favorite team comp to run with Duchess, and it's Triple Nuke. It is a bit of a troll team but this is actually the team that i used to get into plat and yeah i managed to stay there quite comfortably people don't really hit me in um, classic arena so it's really easy for me to push up this is a really nasty team that we're coming across i mean yeah so terrace has obviously opened up with his uh his aoe and it has just wiped the team but it doesn't matter because Everyone's going to die and we will just revive and it's all good. The only problem is that, well, I guess one thing that's really good though is Wukong will just keep coming back. Obviously, he can't really die. And yes, we managed to steal Stone Skin from Necred. Uh, but yeah, this is like a really, really nasty team that we're going against. Um, if you think about it, I didn't really realize this, but... Uh, Duchess is going to make it so everyone focuses her and Ulma Death Knight will reduce the AoE damage that she receives. And then that's going to also stop sort of Necred. Um, it's going to put ally protection on Ulma Death Knight as well. So it has to go through like two levels. So actually that's a really, really good team comp. But as you can see, like Duchess, the hardcore carry coming in, just making it so easy. Like you should not be able to run triple nuke i don't think there's many other champions you could run triple nuke with other than duchess this is gonna be an interesting one double hepfrak and another marichka so wukong um ulma death knight and duchess i mean duchess and ulma death knight are like the core here but also wukong just slots in really really nicely with ulma death knight and what's great about this team is if they didn't have their AoEs up, they would just focus. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. This looks like a nasty team. Yeah, Lazarus. Um, yeah, just this is going to be hard. But let's just go for it. So the core of this team comp is Duchess and Ulma Death Knight. They are a sick combo. We're bringing in Wukong as well. Obviously, Wukong pairs up really nicely with ultimate death knight and then we've got elva just for another revive but just a really good cleanser as well okay so it's a support wukong and we're still alive nice we're gonna revive throw out some um, aoe heals try and just decrease their damage and Lazarus hasn't really done much yet. I'm quite surprised. Expecting some big hits from him. And yeah, I think if Wukong can just pop off as he does, 
That's it. It's game over. Nice. Sit down. Yeah, Wukong is still a beast. Still one of the most annoying champions in the game. But yeah. Yeah, Duchess and Ultimate Death Knight, just really, really difficult to deal with. If there's like a Rotus on the team, they are going to really, really struggle. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.